Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the newly launched Insight Cosmetics Super Lip Liners. Now these were quite requested and finally it is here. Now they do offer a total of 12 shades and I have all the 12 shades with me. And for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I am 310 Sun Beige. Now before we can get into the application, the formula, the pros and the cons, and if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to which notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. Alright, so let's first go over with the features of these lip liners. Now it says that it's a highly pigmented lip liner, perfect for lip contouring, enriched with the goodness of vitamin E. It delivers a pigment rich color in a single stroke. It lasts for eight hours without fading or bleeding. It ensures that your lipstick stays on for long hours. Comes with a free sharpener, which is great. And this product is cruelty free and free of parabens as well. Now these are priced at 110 rupees for 1.2 grams of product. And like I mentioned before, they offer a total of 12 shades at the moment. And I picked mine off of Amazon and I've seen them on Nykaa as well, but on Nykaa there's only six shades, so yeah. So this is how the lip liner looks like where it comes in this white pencil and it has a color coordinated bottom and the cap as well. It is a pencil type of a lip liner which comes with a free sharpener as well. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches.
All right, so let's go over the formula of these lip liners. Now, firstly, these do glide on smoothly on your lip line. Now, remember this point. I'll come back to it in a few minutes, but lip line alone, it glides very smoothly. Second point is that these are super pigmented and they are great for lining the lips. They are packed with pigment. It's fully opaque. And also, these are transfer proof and smudge proof as well. For example, These are completely transfer proof. Now these do last for a long time. For me, it lasted like six to seven hours and then I had to eat. So until then it actually lasted. And just for shits and giggles, I applied it all over my lips and I had a heavy meal. And this is how it looked like. And as you guys can see, it was there remaining only on the line of my lips. And this is not the kind of formula where you can press your lips together, you're good to go. No, you'll have to reapply them. And last but not least, for the removal of these lip liners, you will have to use an oil-based remover and that's when it works like a charm. And now for the FYI, there are two points. The first point is that there are sharpeners available for each and every shade, which is amazing. But then I bought 12 shades, so I have 12 sharpeners right now, so yeah. The second point is that only one of the shades actually broke on me, but the rest was completely fine. Nothing else broke. I thought it would, but it did not. And now for the cons, there is an explanation which kind of will make sense for the first point. So I'll just do that and I hope I'm making sense and explain it right. So in my personal opinion, there are three ways to apply a lip liner. The first way is to just line your lips alone and then use a lipstick in the inner portion of your lips. The second way of applying is to line your lips and lightly shade around where you have lined your lips and then applying a lipstick over it. The third way is to use the lip liner all over your lips and then using a lipstick over and above it. Now these lip liners are great for option one and two, but not for three. Because these lip liners are quite dry in formula, they set very quickly and even when you're applying it all over your lips, it does kind of tug and pull your lips during application as well. So yeah. Because personally, I do own very few lip liners, but even those, I do prefer them to be quite creamy in formula-wise or consistency, at least so that it glides smoothly all over my lips. Now, just for testing purposes, I also tried using a lip balm underneath and then using these lip liners. But the weird thing is, the color never got stuck on my lips at all. I'll insert a video what exactly I'm talking about, I hope that is helpful but yeah even that did not work the only way to make it work is make sure that your lips are well prepped beforehand make sure that they're well moisturized beforehand and then you can apply these lip liners and they will work great now for the second con there is no shade name or number mentioned on the actual lip liner so what i did is i used this sticker that was actually there on the outer box so the outer box has this shade name and number sticker so i used that sticker to stick it on the actual pencil because i had to swatch 12 shades and there was no way of knowing which shade is which one so yeah as soon as i bought it that's what i did but it's kind of weird that there's no shade name or number mentioned on the actual product itself so yeah and the last con is that there is no arm swatch or lip swatch available anywhere online which could have been helpful to pick the right shades so yeah so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the inside cosmetics super lip liners and this wraps today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try myself for you as well as follow me on my socials, which is Shania on Instagram and Shania on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.